We now want to call upon Parliament, especially in the discussion on the Finance Bill 2024, which has introduced a raft of taxes. We have already made our presentation as a church on areas that we worry will harm the economy and give trouble to many Kenyans who are struggling to make the ends meet. The Parliament need to look at those taxation uh, proposals and only bring to us taxes that are going to support the government effort to do mission in this country and develop, but those that are going to harm us and make uh, the cost of living hard and also the cost of doing business hard should be done away with. And I've been asking the question, taxing that person who just bought a little vehicle, who already has paid duty, and is paying taxes on a daily basis to run that car, because fuel is 16% is taxed, and is taxed when he buys the tire, 16%. Is taxed when he go to the garage, 16% and the duty is almost equivalent to the cost of the car. Why tax again? We are also worried on the taxation on cooking oil, taxation on bread, because it is a staple food of every Kenyan. We are also worried about taxing money transfers and making banking almost unattainable to the common person. We all remember when the structural adjustment on the multinational banks, particularly Barclays and uh, uh, Standard Chartered, used to maintain a 20,000 balance in a bank account before they eat all the money. And when EPT came and provided an opportunity that we can bank without having a balance in that bank account, the banking sector grew. So putting more taxation into that will make the cost of transaction harder, including money transfers. That will even cut the remittances that we earn a lot of foreign revenue from our diaspora, who may shy away from sending the hard currencies into our economy if we overtax in that money transaction. We have made a clear and written proposal. We hope it will be considered. And uh, the team that is working and receiving public participation will not take Kenyans for a ride, though they will hear the plight of the Kenyan person. But we also ask, you know, after paying all these taxes, we are seeing proposal on reduction in the health sector, we are seeing a reduction in the education sector budget, and we are seeing a reduction in the agriculture sector in the budget. And these are the sectors that will benefit the common person directly. How do we reconcile? When taxation are increased, and the very critical areas that are going to support life, uh, the taxes, the, the expenditure is reduced. May God help us and those who are in leadership to be alive to the fact that Kenyans are paining and they are going through a lot. May God bless you. May God bless Kenya. Leo pia tutaka tuseme ule mjadara unaendelea wa ile mambo ya ugavi wa rasilimali za pesa za Kenya. Kuna wale wanasema one man, one vote, one shilling. Kuna wale wanasema one shilling, one kilometer. Leo tutaka tuseme haya ni kama yale tumeambiwa na Bishop Leo. Haya ni kama ya the tiger and the donkey. Whether the grass is green or blue is a matter of opinion and every Kenyan is entitled to their opinion. This is a conversation whose time has come. Let us freely talk about it. To see we tena na mambo ya vitisho ama intimidation ama isolation of any community or any individual 
ama vilification of anybody ana kuwa na maoni tofauti na yako na ama wewe na maoni tofauti na yake hii ni haki yetu tuendelee kuona how we can make Kenya a more equitable nation how we can make Kenya a more equal and inclusive nation and that is why we brought devolution na leo niko hapa na yule aliyekuwa attorney general Emos wako attorney general emeritus huyu wako ndio alikuwa pale kwa ile katiba ya 2010 na kibaki iliyoleta ugatuzi inayoleta usawa and we must continue with the conversation of making Kenya more equitable society through the debate that we are now having leo tukiwa hapa we want to join the church in standing firm against the oppressive finance bill 2024 wanasema ukistajabu ya Musa utaona ya nani ya Firauni sasa mwaka jana hiyo bill ilikuwa kama ya Musa hii ya 2024 ndio mbaya zaidi hii ndio ya Firauni yenyewe na ndio sababu we must all stand together in solidarity kupinga hii finance bill sababu inapandisha kila kitu vitu ya kawaida vile archbishop amesema hapo mkate na mchai na chai just for ordinary family kitakuwa kitu kibumu sana kupatikana wakipandisha mafuta ya kupika kila kitu iwe mandazi iwe chapati chakula yote itapanda na wameweka hadi ile diapers ya watoto yani watoto wadogo wanaozaliwa sasa wanaenda kusikia uchungu wa taxation when diapers for little kids jamani pia zinakuwa tax then we have a problem in the republic of kenya so leo tutataka tusimame pamoja kusema no to that finance bill na vile vile tuseme pia kwa maombi ya leo the church has today spoken about tolerance political tolerance tunajua tuna maoni tofauti tofauti ni kama vile tumeambiwa kwa mahubiri ya leo na bishop ya kwamba there was a, a donkey and a tiger and the donkey and tiger were arguing about whether the grass was blue or green but they are all god's creation they are all entitled to their opinions just as we are hiyo opinion yao wana haki kuwa nayo. Ruta wewe kututisha. Akienda kombo tunamnyorosha, akifuata sheria tunamuunga mkono. They are not wait about it. So the finance bill be not afraid. People do not exist to serve governments. It's governments that exist to serve the people. Let us not reverse that order. And as the white man says, a tail cannot work the dog. Let President Ruto know that it's the tail and the people are the dog. He cannot work them. We are not going to allow this country to be run down the drain with the policies that are aimed at promoting neoliberalism that will destroy our autonomy as a republic and allow us to become a client state of the United States and others already we are being told we are members of NATO NATO to do what we are not part of the northern atlantic circle so we pray that the president sees the light and we pray for him every day i when i say my rosary every morning i pray for the president and the deputy and the cabinet that they may have the presence of mind to do what it takes to make Kenya and where we are today president ruto your finance bill we say no we cannot see something coming to destroy us and we applaud it we say no and i fully associate myself with the words of the archbishop asante lakini nitapinga yale finance bill ambayo inakuja hiyo kaunto ni because si kitu ya kusaidia wananchi because pesa zinakatwa there are no services akuna services zozote watu wanakufa kama kuku sahi kwa sababu there are no drugs in hospitals doctors are not being employed 
ati a watoto wetu wamefungua mashule hakuna walimu wa kuwafunza we have a problem and we must solve this problem now not tomorrow thank you the current government has emasculated parliament the current government has captured judiciary the current government is slowly probably has also captured the church so the people of kenya are left defenseless we come back to you the people of church to pray for kenya kenyans are on their own why pray for us pray for whoever passes draconian laws and whoever rams down the throat of the people the draconian taxes we need to talk to him pray for him and that's none other than the president of the republic of kenya with a draft of all the bills of finance who impose all the taxes pray for him talk to him so that he can have mercy on the people of kenya Bishop Magina, whom I have taken over from, and now I give it to you in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If you are not, an receive this staff to serve as a constant reminder of your call. <laughs> honor and respect all lawful instructions and directions that may be given to me from time to time and conformity with the constitution statutes bylaws regulations standing orders and approved customs and usages from drought and floods, from earthquakes and other disasters. And for the grace of the Holy Spirit to amend our 